Hey YouTube family, this is Mika Coleman with Tax Deed and Overage Education. My company is called Leverage. And today I'm gonna to talk about overages unveiled and don't make these mistakes. I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys. Right now I'm like having a tough time uh, because I have for the last couple of years, I have dialed in, tapped into a few counties that have been my bread and butter. And what I mean by that is I've learned the inside and out of specific counties that I use specifically for Mika. And um, I just, I would go after those counties um, every day, all day, um, because people there know me, the person that processes the overages, um, know my company. And I've just kind of like just I want to say, I don't want to say, um, say I've been flying underneath the radar, but I feel like uh, not a lot of people was doing these three counties that I was doing. And so I'm going to talk about unveiling some of the mistakes that I am currently experiencing and that I have made in the past. I'll, I'll first start like from the past to the beginning. This just came up um, for me. I'll never forget. I think I've said this in a video before about I was so excited um, that I had found a claimant that um, had like, I think she had like 320,000. I can't remember, it was so long ago. The moral of the story is I didn't get the overage and she lost the money. And uh, what I learned from that experience was that I was number one, unexperienced. And number two, um, I actually like, spoke face to face with this claimant because I was new, I was excited, and I was like, forget calling people, go knock on the doors. Because I don't know if you guys, um, back in the day, like in the 2003, 2004, they were teaching you to go knock on the door if someone was having like foreclosure problems. So um, I just always never been afraid to just go knock on a stranger's door anyway with this overage story i remember that that mistake taught me early on to like build rapport with claimants because i was like how did i let like 300 and something thousand dollars just fly by me just like that and i actually was able to speak to the claimant she gave me her number everything make a long story short like we both lost um there were several things that i made one was not building rapport number two i was being a little stubborn because i didn't want to um do like less than like 20% or something. Just so many different things that I learned in the lesson, which leads me to unveiling some of the overage secrets is number one, you won't know how good you are in this business until you try and do it. You just have to do it. And even when you fail, you really haven't failed because you're going to learn something from your failed failures. So what's currently happening right now in this moment, in this industry, as I prepare for my mastermind? Now, I know some of you guys are like, why so long and you don't have anything um, sooner? Well, the reason why is because I've been scouring like the surrounding areas of the counties that I always work and lo and behold, there are not overages worth going after. I mean, literally like I, even though I charge $9.97 for my course, I don't want people going after $5,000 or overages. I want you going after overages where like, you can, you know, have a nice little cushion savings, not, you know, three or four hundred dollars. Um, so right now, um, I don't know if it's the change in climate or if people are, are like not going to the auctions and people are not overbidding. So I'm starting to kind of see a shift, um, but I, I don't believe that there aren't any overages to collect because uh, like there is the state that I think I might just need to fly there um, that has amazing overages. And I don't know if it's because their properties start out low. And but this county is like, well, I want to say the state has a lot of overage claims. Like they're like, it's like unreal. Like I've, I've never seen a county have multiple six figures. Um, and it's a unassuming state. 
I would have never gathered or thought that uh, you could have overages in this particular state. So um, don't be discouraged for my masterminds um, because I do have one in September. However, the reason why I um, oftentimes don't do them every month is because <clears throat> I like to get current lists. I like to research um, thoroughly counties. Um, I ask several questions in regards to turnaround time. How long does it take to get a check? What is the process? What are the procedures? And ultimately, because I'm working with students and people from all walks of life that have different industries and different careers, so I always try to um, make the class as easy as possible. And as far as the paperwork and fouling, I also want to make uh, easy and simple for you to understand so that you can grasp and understand how the process works from beginning to end. Um, so I say that all to say, like right now, I wanted to do this video on uh, the climate change of the overages and even me experiencing like the counties that I've worked over the years have started to change. So now even me, I'm going to have to look for uh, other counties because I'm like, these overages are just not where they used to be. Uh, however, it is forcing me to um, go into other counties. So I don't want you to make the mistake of uh, getting used to or comfortable with like finding a county and staying in that county. And so I'm just being transparent. Like I just, that's a lesson that I'm currently learning right now is to not think that uh, there's always going to be good overages in the counties that I uh, operate. Uh, and so now I'm going to, even though in my one-on-ones, I do teach my students to go, you know, find four or five, but that is more so because it depends on where you are and then what kind of counties and what type of overages you're trying to look for. Um, so anyway, I wanted to talk about that's my current issue. The other thing I wanted to talk about in overages is I'm noticing that a lot of the different uh, states are starting to um, have require you to do uh, certain things that weren't done before. Um, I just spoke to a county. I don't want to be complete transparent. I still like Florida. Like I feel like Florida is still good. Uh, people always ask me about Georgia and I'm still on the fence with that. Um, I think there's ways to get around Georgia, but I honestly have not been successful in Georgia. Um, I'm working on South Carolina. Uh, that one is a state that I'm still kind of like, man. Yeah. Um, and I'm starting to look into other Midwest uh, states. However, uh, one of the things I think a lot of people make the mistake is thinking that um, you can like go anywhere and just like get these overages. Um, there are specific, uh, what do I want to say? There are specific things that I look for when I am going after overages um, so that you so that you don't make the mistakes. Number one, I always, always ask, are they third party friendly? And then the second question, I don't even think I've talked about this, um, uh, but in my course, I do go over it either way, but I think what's also important, if you're new guys and you're like not wanting to set up a corporation or a DBA, uh, the second thing is you wanna ask, is the, could the check come in your name? simple as that like don't make the mistake if you're new um, and you don't have everything set up don't make the mistake of you know doing all the work and the check comes in your claimant in the claimant's name however um, there are ways around that I do teach that in my course I also have uh, forms and documents that um, get you so that you if the check does come in your in the claimant's name there is a workaround around that um, but if you're new and you don't really have everything set up and you just want to kind of hit the ground running I would suggest you know focusing on counties that um, the checks come in your name so let me just go down um, some of the lists some of the things that I look for uh, one is of course third party you want to be third party friendly a lot of questions that I get to is, you know, should I do a corporation or should I um, do, a, you know, a DBA or can I use myself? Um, I have been scouring counties and uh, what I've been seeing, I'm going to say personally for me because I do go over, uh, I do six figure checks. I do do an LLC just for um, legal purposes, but you don't have to. I've 
when I tell you guys, I've been up day and night like looking um, at counties because I'm like, my favorite counties are not giving me what I need. Um, I'm noticing that um, individuals are filing um, claims for, indiv to, for other individuals. So you don't need an attorney. Um, you don't have to have a, a company. I just, just out of business and dealing with people, I do have a corporation, but you don't need that. I And I, I've seen it secondhand there. I'm noticing a lot of the counties are starting to uh, get acclimated to the electronics. So there's a lot of things that you can see online, but you do need to know where to find it and what to look. But there are resources out there uh, that the, some counties have where everything that you need is there. Uh, one of the things I also want you to be aware of is don't make the mistake of going after the new owner and not, you know, and not the actual claimant. And then what else did I want to talk about? So I talked about um, the counties, don't get stuck with the counties. And then um, what else did I wanna say? I think that's it, you guys. I've had a long day and um, kind of disappointed because I haven't been able to find a county, but I re reassure you, if you're interested in my mastermind, I am going to find us a good list. Um, but anyway, I guess that's it. I want to just kind of like go over some of the mistakes that I made in the past and what I'm currently going through now and just kind of share with you what I'm going through. And um, I think now that I'm like talking a little bit more, I'm thinking the reason why I like doing the mastermind is because it forces me to go into different counties and different areas. and. Uh, I do a lot of research uh, in order to make it uh, easy and teachable for uh, new students that are getting into the overage. So it uh, it makes me like I search a lot of counties, you guys, and I'm starting to like be like, oh boy. However, there's three thousand counties, and um, I still have a long ways to go. Um, for those that are interested in wanting to sign up for any of my courses or my mastermind, just click the link below. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them in the comment section. If you are interested in wanting a free guide about tax deeds and overages, there's also a link down at the bottom. Happy investing, you guys. That's all, folks.